Some breaking news, it is being called the darkest day in Astros history. The team's manager and GM fired. Owner Jim Crane is cleaning house in the front office after Major League Baseball slammed the team with harsh punishment for the 2017 cheating scandal. And we are taking in all of this right, right after the Texans meltdown in Kansas City yesterday. It has been a rough 24 hours for Houston sports fans. Yeah, we took the hardest hit today when the Astros dismissed general manager Jeff Luno and manager A.J. Hinch after the MLB suspended both of them for a year. We want to get your take on this today on the 411. Do you think that Hinch and Luno should have been fired? Go to KHOU.com slash vote now, or you can open up the KHOU mobile app and then select the vote now tab and You'll be able to see the live poll right now there at the bottom of your screen. Okay, a lot of moving parts here. While you're voting, Jason Bristol is here now. Jason, you were at the press conference where the team owner made that big announcement at Minute Maid. Yeah, baseball brought out its hammer, and then the Astros used their own to finish the deal here. A lot of fans did not want to believe that the Astros were banging on a trash can to signify which pitches were coming. But it is a fact as listed in this report from MLB. The Astros also using a live video feed to relay signs in 2017 and part of 2018. And while neither AJ Hinch nor Jeff Luno instituted this scheme, it was brought on by former bench coach Alex Cora. These two right here are now being held accountable because they did nothing to stop it. And Jim Crane says he decided to go above and beyond baseball's decision to move forward with a clean slate. Is it his toughest day as an owner? This is a tough day. Um, I've had a lot of tough days over the years. But yeah, this is this is a tough one. And it's interesting to look at page six of this report. It says, although Luno denies having any awareness mm -hmm. that his replay, replay review room was decoding and transmitting signs, there is both documentary and testimonial evidence that indicates Luno had some knowledge of these efforts, but he did not give it much attention. Now, mm -hmm. big question, moving forward, what mm -hmm. happens with uh -huh. these two positions? You have to believe that Joe Espada, their bench coach from this past season, he will be named at least interim manager. As for general manager, there are some in-house candidates, people who are highly regarded, who've interviewed elsewhere. So we shall see if those are the people that Jim Crane will now put in the position to lead this baseball program moving forward. So now let's also hear from what Daniel Gotera has to say from the ballpark and much more from Jim Crane. Daniel? Yeah, Jason, it's a dark day here at Minute Maid Park, that's for sure. Major League Baseball, the report indicating that Jim Crane did not have any knowledge of what was going on inside the dugout during that 2017 season. In fact, the report went on to say that A.J. Hinch disapproved of the tactics that were put in place by those down the organizational food chain. The problem was, and that's why the penalty was levied, he never tried to put a stop to it. In 2017, Major League Baseball issued a warning to teams about using technology to steal signs. Crane actually confronted both Luno and Hinch about it, saying, quote, I don't know if you're doing this, but if you are, you better knock it off. Many wondering around baseball, why not take away the title? But Crane has an opinion on that, too. I feel we had the best team on the field then. I thought we had a great team in 18. Things didn't fall our way. We got down to the last game in the World Series, and that didn't fall our way. So baseball's tough to win. Um, and again, I think we, we have a great organization. We have a great team still. Um, we'll continue to work on that. Um, but listen, none of this is fun, and, and I'm not happy that it happened, but it happened, and we're dealing with it. Crane said he spoke to Hinch this afternoon, who was understandably upset about the decision levied by Major League Baseball and the Astros. Many around baseball actually upset about Hinch because he's been such a, a great figure around the game, someone who a lot of people turn to during this time. Uh, a search for a new manager has immediately started with a couple of candidates coming from within the organization. As for the baseball operations side of things, Crane said he's going to be in charge of that until a replacement for General, Jeff, General Manager Jeff Luno is found. But yes, this is a sad final chapter in that storybook that we read about the 2017 Astros and that magical run that captivated the city. Guys, back to you. Yeah, so much has evolved in about two years. Thank you, Daniel. Let's take a look at our live poll results so far. You know, we were asking you, do you think Hinch and Luno should have been fired? 68% of you are saying right now, no, it was too harsh. And you can still vote in our live survey, by the way. It'll be active for the next couple of hours or so today.